The 90s are alive on the internet with some of the best retro content I've seen in a long time. It reminds me of my childhood. And I'm not quite sure what it is exactly that draws us to this look, whether it be nostalgia or just trying to recapture something that we think is cool, or is it just pushback from all of the highly polished things that we're seeing? I'm sure there's a ton of psychology that goes into that, but today we're not diving into that. If you wanna dive into that, then you guys need to discuss it down in the comments because today I'm telling you how you can get those 90s party vibes with a $20 camera. What's going on? My name's Andrew, you can call me Pooch, and I'd like to welcome you to the Less Lonely channel. Oh, let me, uh, let me get that. Gunner for that Liquid Death sponsorship over here. <sighs> Tastes just like the mountains, but with a little bit of rage. I'm really glad you're here. Let me talk to you about this $20 camera that I'm obsessed with. The Nikon Coolpix S570. I have a distinct memory of Ashton Kutcher out here just promoting this junk. It was cool, it was the party vibe, it was the camera you needed to have on you at all times. Now, remind you, we didn't always have cameras on our phones and these were the solution. 12 megapixels, a five times optical zoom, and a 2.7 inch LCD screen. These things were amazing. It's got no HD video. I can hardly see the LCD screen because this one is from 2009. I can barely see what's going on. But still, it's probably one of my favorite cameras. I'm telling you right now, this thing is a vibe machine. I mean, just listen to the startup sound when I turn it on. <laughs> so cute. I can talk about all the specs, but really there's not a lot of specs, so we're gonna cut this part short. I wanna show you the photos. This is literally like no edits or maybe some minor color correction and that's it. That's all it takes from this 90s vibe machine to make your party or your headshots look retro. All right. Check these out. So there you have it. Nikon Coolpix S570 in action. I would recommend using this at a party. Using the flash is a must. I think that that's what creates some of those like harsh light photo vibes that I'm talking about. One of the fun things we could do with this camera as well is that since there's no like true manual controls, you can do some really fun things. So in a lot of those photos you saw light leaks and those were on purpose. Essentially what I did is we hold the shutter down, move the camera back and forth and we'd get those wavy light streams and light leaks that you would almost get on a long exposure or even some film cameras. We also use this sometimes on our Instagram and TikTok channels for vlogs. Believe it or not, it actually creates a really great aesthetic. It feels very homemade, home movie, as if we did all of the things that we're vlogging about 10 years ago. It has a really great feel, and if you haven't seen those vlogs, I definitely recommend you check those out. So you gotta go to our TikTok and Instagram accounts to do that. Now look, I know point and shoots are everywhere, and this is not really anything to uh, write home about, but if you're looking for a very specific style, if you're looking for an aesthetic that feels lived in, feels older than it actually is, and has that 90s vibe, then this is uh, your go-to and, and, and you can't beat 20 bucks really like that's a couple coffees in the week and that's all I have for the Nikon cool picks thank you all so much for checking out this video if you want to feel less lonely on your creative journey then I recommend you leave a like comment and ultimately subscribe where's my cool picks gang I want to know who's got the cool picks who's using it in 2022 I want to know and until next time I'll see you peace got a clear signal all right, doing this again because uh, the audio keeps crapping out on me and that's really sad. This is gonna go like in the blooper reel afterwards too. So, you know, you gotta give people a little something to watch after the, um, after the video's done because that's exciting.